or all that good stuff, we are not a secular country and I kind of already knew this but I wanted to make a video about it and something that I knew was go that was going on and we just reached a Supreme Court decision and it went in the wrong, like not my opinion of the wrong decision and it was the Hobby Lobby thing where they didn't want to give their employees birth control or actually it was contraceptives and that just goes to show that like because a company, company owners, the people of a company are Christian, then they decide that they're going to follow all their Christian views. But it's really funny, what if it was a Jewish person who said, none of you can get, uh, can work on the Sabbath, and that's actually a law, and so what if it was like a hospital and they had to shut off all the machines because no work on the Sabbath, nothing, nothing, nothing. Would that be okay? No. And especially with things like contraceptive, birth control, uh, like condoms or anything like that, those protect a female and condoms protect a male from getting pregnant or STDs or something like that. In this particular case with contraceptives, it protects a woman from getting pregnant, much like birth control. I don't really know the difference between contraceptive and birth control, so I'm sorry, correct me if I'm wrong or in anything. But it's important because there's some there are some people in this country, and this is due to religion, that believe that if you can't have sex that unless you're going to make a baby, and if you make a baby, if you try to prevent a ba baby, then that's not like what God wants or anything like that. Some people really can't have a baby. They, they're not mentally ready for it, or they, they're financially not ready for it. Or maybe they are, but like ready for it but they're not ready to move out of like their say shitty apartment or something like that and they need to like work a few more years to get more money for that that can be financial oops no the reason but other than that the reason that we're not a secular country is first of all we have in god we trust written on all of our currency that actually didn't come around until the 1950s where a majority of the population was religious was a christian protestant actually and they all wanted like something godly written places like that that's where the um crap i forgot what case it was called alquist versus cranston no, that's not a real thing. No, it was when this girl sued her public school for having a prayer that was also put up in the 1950s where a majority of the population was Christian. In the Pledge of Allegiance, one nation under God, not all people, pe people, not all people believe in God, or at least not the Judeo-Christian God that most people are referencing when they, when they, uh, made the Pledge of Allegiance. I'm sorry, I'm starting to stutter. No, but it's also, like, if we were truly a secular country, we would not have any of that. And most importantly, we would not have any issue with birth control, contraceptives, condoms, or even freaking gay rights. Two people getting married, that's completely fine. If you take out religion and history, or just religion, not even in history, take out belief, just everyone is non-religious. There is no reason to have homophobia or maybe a lot less of a reason to have transphobia and stuff like that. When you start putting religion into politics, then messy things like this happens. And when you embed it in so much of the country is that certain religion, we start getting politics like Sarah Palin or Rick Perry all saying like, oh yes, we were founded upon the Christian religion. Even when there's an interview with Sarah Palin, and I find this completely funny, and she says, Oh yes, it's plain to see that the Constitution was based upon the Ten Commandments, when actually in the Constitution itself it says, America shall not have a, um, have a, an official religion. But a lot of people these days really don't care about that and say the Founding Fathers were all religious and Christian. Majority of them were a pro- not even Protestant, some of them were Protestant, majority were deists, and some of them were agnostic or just not religious at all. They weren't, they couldn't decide upon something because all of them were different. So they said, we can have religious freedom. We should have religious freedom. And then we have modern day politics just saying, LOL, nope, we're going to follow what I want to, what I want you to follow. And I'm going to force it upon you. If you don't believe me, just look at 
look up Rick Perry and Sarah Palin. Those are two very good examples of it. And that's all I have for my rant video. So, yeah. Peace.